Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will put to the test the claim made by Google for the Pixel 3a that if you charge it for 15 minutes, you'll get seven hours of use. So right now the Google Pixel 3a is completely dead. I let it turn off by itself. Now, the little red indicator is letting you know that it's dead and it will not turn back on. So underneath the table here, I have plugged in the original charger that came with the phone along with the cable. So we will place this onto a charger. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes and then right after this, basically go on with the day. So right now it is 1.30, so we'll see if this one will last until about um, 8.30, giving it its full seven hours. So let's move the camera overhead, let's start the 15 minute timer, and let's see if it'll last for seven hours. So as I've stated before, the Google Pixel 3a is completely dead. Trying to turn it on and boot it on just shows you just a battery indicator and that's pretty much about it. So we will be plugging it in right now heading right over here to start the timer for 15 minutes. So I will be doing this with the phone turned off. I wanna make sure that no notifications come through. I wanna make sure that I'm getting the full charge for the full 15 minutes, nothing being pulled or pushed in terms, of, in terms of notifications and phone calls and things like that. So it has been the 15 minute charge test. Looks like we're sitting at 22%. So now let's turn this one on. Then we're gonna see exactly how well this one performs after seven hours of use. Now, I went over just by a few seconds, but you know what, we're all human. <laughs> it's kind of the way it is, no one's perfect. Uh, but I don't think that really made any change or difference with this charge test anyway. So right now it is 1.51 p.m. We'll see if it lasts all the way up until 8.51 p.m. Again, I will be taking this to the gym, playing music. Um, it is also connected to my watch. I have it connected with my Gear S3. Uh, it's connected with all of the different um, you know, accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. So we're good to go. Everything is connected. I also have Samsung Health on here as well. So let's go through, play with the tests, and also take some pictures. And I'll come out with a comparison video uh, a little bit later on that will be comparing the Google Pixel 3a versus the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. Hey guys, so I just got back from the 15 minute charge test for the Google Pixel 3a, and it's mostly just a claim by Google stating that the Google Pixel 3a was able to last for seven hours with a 15 minute charge. Now, the seven hours is probably based on very light usage, maybe a couple phone calls here and there, maybe a couple text messages, maybe going on Facebook and liking a, a picture or uploading a picture or reading a tweet, but that's really about it. Most of it is probably sitting idle on a desk or in your pocket. So I used this one and based off of my usage, and this is pretty much the results. So with this one, it was sitting at 0%, and with the 15 minute charge, it went all the way up to 20%. 22%, meaning that I started with 22% on this phone to see if it would last me for seven hours. And the result was just under four hours, which is really not bad at all. Most of everybody would almost be already charging their phone if their phone is sitting at 23, 24, maybe 33%. So I'm already starting at a number less than what anybody feels comfortable with. Now my usage on this one was streaming music with the Amazon Music for a full hour. Now I also have the Google Pixel 3a that is paired with the, the Gear S3. I also have it paired with my Galaxy Buds. So this might be a little bit more usage than everybody. Maybe not everybody has a smartwatch or connecting it to a Bluetooth headset for a full hour of listening to music at the gym, but that was my usage. It's it stated that it would last for seven hours and I didn't want it to just basically sit somewhere in the house or in my pocket. Now, along with that one hour of streaming music and connected to the Galaxy Buds, uh, I also took a few extra screenshots to let you guys know exactly what I also did during this four hour time, which basically every single hour went down by about 5%, which is really good with a smartphone. So I used the camera for about 19 minutes. The Pixel Launcher was used for an hour and seven minutes. Uh, and then also with YouTube is for about 31 minutes. Amazon Music was for that one hour and one minute. Um, scrolling down, you can see that it was also used for one hour and four minutes. So each call was about 32 minutes long. I was on the Chrome for about 15 minutes, looking at my photos for about 21 minutes. I was going through some of the pictures and deleting some of them. Uh, I used Google for about 13 minutes. Uh, so I mean, really, I, I got a lot of use out of this one. Um, it was sitting at 1% at 535. 
uh, which was just a little bit uh, a while ago. And actually right after I took that screenshot was when the phone um, basically died. So I didn't get the full four hours um, and it definitely was not that seven hours of usage that they mentioned. But I would probably have to say that if I was not doing a full hour of talk time within that four hours, if I wasn't streaming music for another full hour in, in between there, and then for the rest of the times I was reading tweets and sending tweets, um, I was also taking photos, I was doing a comparison video or pretty much getting ready for a comparison video of the S10 series versus uh, the Google Pixel 3a. So really when you look at that, out of the four hours, it was easily in use um, for more than uh, two and a half hours. So there was only about an hour that it was maybe just sitting down, but I was also playing with some of the settings um, uh, of the phone since it is pretty much new to me as well too. So going through some of the settings and letting it sync with a few extra applications that was downloaded, really, it, it did a really good job and I probably used it a little bit more than average. Now, I know that my my buddy out in St. Louis, C-Kid, um, he uh, used his Google Pixel 3a to do the 15 minute test. Um, I could probably link the video below this video. I'm pretty sure his is already up and live, but his lasted him for five and a half hours. So if he got five and a half hours of usage, I got four hours, almost four hours. Uh, definitely the results will vary. It's not a, you know, results may vary. It is results will vary based on what you're doing. Also, I believe that I don't know if C-Kid um, had his phone connected with other Bluetooth devices. Uh, so mine was connected this entire time with the watch and for basically 25% of that battery life was connected also with streaming music through the Galaxy Buds. So I hope I didn't jump everywhere in this video. I hope it kind of made sense. So really the breakdown of everything was a 15 minute charge gave 22%. And with that 22%, I made the phone last for four hours. So I really hope that you're staying tuned to this part. Um, and out of that four hours, I watched uh, YouTube for about 30 minutes. Um, I, I made a phone call, uh, two phone calls that lasted a total of one hour. And then I streamed music from Amazon Music with the Galaxy Buds for another hour, taking up probably the majority of this battery and then playing with the camera, taking pictures and things like that. So. It did not last seven hours, but that's actually a pretty good battery. I have no idea what this thing does when it's connected and all the way charged to 100%. I've never been at 100% on this phone yet. Um, I've always kept it very, very low. Um, I don't think I've ever gone above 25%, to be honest, uh, is because I was getting ready for this video. But I'm gonna stop blabbering. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit on subscribe because of sub subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle, subscribe that way. I have future videos coming up, comparison videos, probably power tests, charging tests, drainage tests. But other than that, I'll see you guys later.